and welcome to Naivety Gaming. I'm your host Matt, and this is the sixth week of Cheap Weekly Nindies. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. We've got a lot of great content coming on up. We are currently in our fourth week of our January series, where we've got a lot of great, like I said before, a lot of great content coming out each and every day at two o'clock Central Time. So stay tuned for tomorrow for Breath of the Wild Wednesdays, followed by Mario Kart with Gibbs. Um, still haven't decided what we're going to do for Friday, but on, again, on Saturday and Sunday will be our last videos for, uh, Crash Bandicoot Saturday and Super Mario Bros. Sunday, and then they'll be leading up to our final week of our January series. So again, stay tuned for that. For those who don't know, Cheap Weekly Nindies is where I browse the eShop and find games that have been released in the past two weeks for $10 or less, and... Already there have been, in this past week, a lot of interesting games that have come out. A lot of which are just barely over our $10 price tag, so unfortunately we can't do... You probably won't be able to browse as many games as you'd like for $10 or less. But if you're willing to spend just a couple of bucks more, I believe you'd find a lot of really cool um, indie games around here. And one that I really wanted to point out was actually one that I believe was just released today because last night when I checked and downloaded the game for this week, um, our good old buddies that have created Color Zen has created a new version of Color Zen, but a more kid-friendly version. So if you enjoyed Color Zen, played through some of the games, or played through some of the levels and really enjoyed it, I would probably recommend doing the kid-friendly version as well. Yeah, it might be a little bit cheesy at times, but if if you were looking for more levels by the great developer that created Color Zen, I would probably look into it. We've got a game called Utopia 9, I believe it is. And it seems just like a Diablo, but more with ranged weapons instead of uh, the hack and slash at close combat. Um, kind of got a Trials-esque game here, I want to say. Absolutely so. That's for eight bucks. But the game that I've chosen for this week is a game that has all actually already been released in the past. As last week we went over a game that was released way, way, way in the back in the Sega era. But this game is called Gunman Clive The HD Collection by, oh, Hoburg Productions? Um... And as the title says, the 3DS Nindy, oh, Indie Hits Gunman Clive 1 and 2 are finally coming to the Switch in one complete package. And I, when I owned the 3DS versions, um, I really did enjoy playing a lot of, you know, obviously 3DS games. But this was one game that was definitely out in the open, definitely much so, you know, getting a lot of attention. So, much like the Switch itself, it really gives you a great opportunity to play games that have already been released in the past, but in a new platform to continue this legacy of these games that have been released in the past. So, I believe when I picked this game up, it was a total of $3.99, so you get two games for an incredible price. So, if you haven't played Gunman Clive, one or two, I think this is game, this is going to be a great game for you. So let us play Gunman Clive, the HD Collection. Hello and welcome to Gunman Clive, the HD Collection. And immediately they offer you with the option to go straight into Gunman Clive 2 if you've already played the first version, or as we'll do today, is play the original. So let us begin, and I did play approximately eh, a little bit of uh, the first level, but let us start a new file just so that you guys can get a really good understanding. So at the very beginning we have the very cliche um, bad guys who steal the princess, very much so from a Mario standpoint. So again, this game, much like Mario, also offers um, side-scrolling platforming, you know, aesthetic or kind of gameplay. So you use your left joystick to move left and right, you use the B button to jump, and you use the Y to shoot your pistol. As you can tell, on the left side of your screen, you've got a health bar, and whenever you take damage, it's actually kind of an interesting aesthetic. It'll actually move upwards. 
So the remaining health that you'll have will be a, a shorter line as it progresses upwards until you have no health left. Um, a very a very important mechanic to keep in mind with this game as well is with your uh, left and right joystick or movement, you also want to hold down so you can crouch. That way you can really attack enemies that are also crouching or, as you'll see in a moment, enemies that are just shorter than you. So, again, much like Mario, you have to find the patterns that your enemy is attacking at, and then you want to be able to quickly get in there and take them out. So we can actually shoot them in the feet there, and grab a birthday kick. I'm not sure what that one does yet, but as you saw there, um, if you... If you take some damage, you'll definitely see your health bar move upwards. I'm not doing a great job here of avoiding these bullets, but it, fortunately you can crouch and be able to dodge those bullets. You gotta look out for the guy up above, and he's definitely on the move. Let's come up, come up there, take him out there, come back and take this guy out again. So, and also a very interesting way as well, as you move on, the enemies in the past will actually respawn, so if you're doing some backtracking, they'll be kind of a problem for you there, as they'll come back to life, in essence. So figure out the pattern, jump up here, do some crouching, skim the top of our hats. And, unfortunately, unlike Mario, um, if you jump on somebody, well, yeah, you're gonna take damage for that, because that's a little bit more realistic? I don't know. So we got a new pistol, and birthday cakes, as you saw earlier. Um, very much so will be your health regen. So if you see birthday cakes, you really want to take care of them. So we got a new weapon here that is like a spread pistol shot. Can't seem to aim upwards, unfortunately. So let's see how we can go about this. Can jump up and shoot him in the feet, and this guy up here, we gotta avoid him too. So let's crouch on down and see where we can go. I do really want to say that this game I'm finding very enjoyable from a couple of different perspectives. The aesthetics and more or less the, um, you know, just how the game looks is very unique, very different. It's almost as if somebody had drawn in everything. But then, at the same time, there it, it's a drawing that is constantly moving, showing some sort of life to it, and showing lots of movement. So I found that very, very intriguing just from the start. And I'm taking a lot of damage here, unfortunately. I'm not doing all that great, but... I don't know why I jumped there. That was probably the worst time to do that. But fortunately, a little duck has dropped a birth birthday cake. That's fine. It took us 220 some odd seconds to complete that level, but... Oh, new type of enemy here. Should really watch out for him. I wonder how we can take care of him. Okay, so crouching will take care of them there. Got ladders, so of course you use the up on the joystick to move upwards. I'm not sure how many more levels I would like to do, because again, like I've said before, I really want to make sure that you guys get to experience the full game on your own without me just spoiling it entirely for you. I guess that works. I was actually kind of questioning how he's going to take care of him there. So, I should also note that I am on the normal difficulty, which, if you're looking for a game that you're not really struggling a whole lot for, I'd probably recommend the easy mode. Um, however, even as the normal mode, it provides just a little bit of a challenge for us newcomers. So I honestly, if you're also looking for a very, very big amount of challenge, um, you know, you've got your three difficulties of easy, normal, and hard. So take all of those in account as you're choosing your difficulty in the game, as most games have some sort of difficulty setting. Um, there we go, headshot. Probably in the tip of the hat, though. Ah, why did I do that? And there we go. 
I'm wondering how many secrets they... that I've probably been missing as well. Whoops, the daisies. And apparently the... respawn is not very... forgiving, so... That's one additional challenge that you'll have to look out for, so let me see if I can rush through here. And complete this level so you guys can get a... Good idea of what's going on. So yeah, if you hit jump, you're definitely going to fall off your ladder, so don't do that. I would highly recommend against that. It turns out you can shoot off the ladder, which is perfect. I was almost going to question why you couldn't. But I guess that is the way that we're going to go today. Don't give him the chance to throw it. Let's jump on his grave. As dark and sadistic as that sounds. Okay, we are back to our same spot thereabouts. Jump on up, shoot him in the head, and continuing on our way. Avoiding that gun, be ah, whatever. So that was Gunman Clive 1. Um, I should make note that you do have, of course, Gunman Clive 2 as well. Um, as the developers even state in the second, all well, in the sequel, that it's more psychedelic, there are a lot of, lot of colors that make it really rich and unique. And as the first Gunman Clive goes, they say, in 2012, they released the most beige game to ever exist, which I think is a very unique tagline. Very fun tagline. I absolutely enjoy the gameplay. Funny enough, it's probably a little bit too difficult for me right now. I do enjoy side-scrolling platformers, so I'll definitely have to uh, really put in the time to really master those levels. The sound effects are very reminiscent of kind of like the early 80s and 90s kind of video games. A time where you could almost say it's their, their retro in a way. And the music is done incredibly well to give you a very western feel. So if you enjoyed this gameplay, definitely check out Gunman Clive The HD Collection. So like I said, that was Gunman Clive The HD Collection. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe. We've got a lot of great content coming on up. Like I, we, like I said earlier, we've got daily content coming on out all throughout the month of January until February 1st. So stay tuned for all those great videos that you guys can enjoy until February. That was the sixth episode, or sixth week, of Cheap Weekly Nindies, and I'll see you guys next week in the seventh week of Cheap Weekly Nindies, where we'll find more indie-related games for under $10 off of our Nintendo Switch's eShop. With that, take care, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.